Well, that's last orders, and I'm joined by the lovely Kristina Ryanov. Zdravstvi. Здравствуйте. Kandila. Хорошо, спасибо. On the show, see, bit of Russian there. You didn't know I'm that, amazed. did you? No. I've got one more for you. Utbi <laughs> ayes sabaka. Yes, sabaka, da. Kushka. Uh, нет, sabaka. <laughs> there you go, you say fluent Russian. Did a bit when I was at school many, many years ago. That's amazing, I'm so impressed. So That's look, incredible. strictly, uh, this is something that my mum and dad were glued to their screens watching every every Saturday night. Um, I know the missus used to watch it. Sorry, I didn't watch it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, they were glued to it. The nation's glued to it. That's of a course, yeah. sort of made your name. What was it like, yeah. Christina, doing that? My gosh, going back in my memories, it's been kind of like a big, old, long, eight years turned in one. It's like a big... Yeah fast train and you jump on it and you just <laughs> go 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 and go a thousand miles a second it was absolutely incredible opportunity because when i finished my professional career as a yeah. dancer it was a bit of a i was only 29 and i was like well, what's next you yeah. know i i've done in professional dancing what i wanted to do i can of course open a dance school but i still wanted to dance myself yeah. and i always had those creative juices to be a choreographer you know and i love that and then Strictly came about because I joined Dancing with the Stars live tour in yep. America where yep. I was based. So from that tour I was invited to do Strictly and one year it turned into two, then into eight and here I am many months later. But Strictly was incredible because it ticked so many boxes for me because I loved performing, I loved choreographing, I loved that sort of feeling of creating something really unique and special every week. And obviously with eight very different celebrities, again, it's always very tricky, you, don't, you never know yeah. who you're going to get as a dance partner. And I'm sure you remember the wonderful John Sargent <laughs> story. I know, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. That was my first year and yes, he dragged me famously across the floor like a sack of potatoes and that's my claim to fame, but um, it was wonderful. So how do you feel then when you get someone, you get a partner? I know, I know this bit anyway, <laughs> and they're absolutely useless. You think to yourself, my goodness, I can't, I can't work with this. <laughs> yeah, I had a few of those, I, I suppose. Um, but I guess in me was always like, okay, I have to dig deep in my creativity. And actually, I think it's much more difficult to teach the complete beginner and somebody who is perhaps not so able to really okay. do all these different rhythms. And, you know, I kind of, I love that to be fair, because mm. it was a good task and uh, I was a bit of a taskmaster, I suppose. In so that. See some of them that, that come on, they actually lose a bit of weight, don't they? While they do, yes. while they're doing it, so yes. a lot of weight. Some yes. of them. I mean, you've got to be really fit yeah, to do this. Yeah, yeah. Well, John Sargent lost thirty pounds during wow. Strictly, and he always, after the show, he said to me, "You know, you probably saved my life and saved yeah. me from heart yeah, attack." Because he joined his um, with his brother swimming after the Strictly. He wanted to keep himself in shape, yeah. so it's a wonderful way to lose weight, healthy way, I suppose. So dancing is your passion, obviously. Yes. I know you do a bit of yoga as well. Yes. And Just a bit. I've met your daughter earlier. She's lovely. She's got a lippy on, <laughs> and, uh, but you spend a lot of time now doing doing dance schools, training, going up and down the country, going to yes. one of my favourite places, Blackpool. I know <laughs> Blackpool. you're not so keen, Christine, on Blackpool. Yes, Blackpool. But tell me about that, getting you know, young people to dance. I think for me it's so important to kind of pass the flag, you know, and pass my passion to the next generation. Of course, Mila joined my dance school, and I didn't think she would take into ballroom dancing. She loved freestyle and um, drama and so on. But now she's a seasoned competitor. She competes every weekend, nearly. If I judge, of course, she cannot dance, so we have to kind of go every single week, either for her or for my school. And it makes me really happy, because I think it gives you a really good discipline yeah. and understanding in life that you've got to, for those trophies and medals, you've got to work very hard. And it's very competitive. Yes. I see the, uh, I know I've got some, some families in my constituency who are very big in, in the dance scene. Yeah. The outfits are yeah. incredible. <laughs> you know, some, some pushy mothers, I think, yeah. sometimes. Yeah. They want their, dance moms, yeah. Yeah, dance moms, <laughs> they want their kids to be the best. But yeah. Yeah. hopefully it's all in good spirits. But you've got to have a competitive edge as well. A hundred percent, but it's a good competitiveness because I teach all my students to be humble winners and yeah. also gracious losers because yeah. it is what it is. It's sport. It's dance sport. And um, But I think the it's it's life lessons you learn since yeah. a uh, young age. And I think, you know, they're all friends. They, they cheer for each other. And it's a wonderful way. I think to raise the kids and especially now because they're in digital age it's all about yeah. that digital life and, and if I can take the kids away a few hours a, a day from those iPads and, and TVs Good. it's my job done and I would love of course Mila to stay in dance uh, world but if she at some point will choose something else I'll be I'll be there cheering for her. So what about Christina young boys because I, I suppose <laughs> it's more difficult to get yes. young boys because it's a maturity even at a young yeah. age so 
are we, you know, are we working around that? Well, I must say, Len Goodman was a wonderful yeah. person to encourage, you know, guys to to join uh, dancing. Mila is dancing solo; she doesn't have a boy partner. Mm-hmm. Really, would love for her to find one. Um, so, but it is hard. We have a lot of girls and very little boys taking to ballroom dancing. I do hope sometime we will see that times when things change and it will yeah. be kind of. So, equal. I mean, for boys, I think boys sometimes think it's a bit girly to go yeah. into dancing, but actually. I can remember a few boys when my kids were playing football that used to go and dance yeah. and play football and yes. play rugby and, and cricket and it makes them a better all-round athlete. 100% actually all of my boys, I have three boys in my school and about 60 girls but those three boys they're all into football as well and actually I'm very happy that the football coach is saying keep dancing it makes you really fast on your feet, your endurance, your breast work, it's all kind of comes together you know and um, you know I don't think it's anything wrong for the boys being in ballroom dancing mm. and um, they, they learn to be gracious with the girls you know just understand about competitiveness in different ways and look they have great role models if they look yeah. at strictly at those wonderful professional guys and yeah. dancers boys yeah. and yeah. they they yeah they all want to be like well, into a secret a few years back or well, many years back me and my friend went for um, the salsa lessons no way yeah but after two weeks he asked <laughs> us not to come back again because we were spoiling the enjoyment <laughs> well we weren't very good to be so honest misbehaved. No, well no coordination <laughs> I, just couldn't, I just couldn't get the movement Christina yeah but what's next for, for Christina What's next for me? Well, I have a big So Yoga Studios in Northampton, which yeah. opened with Bam in 2019. Obviously, pandemic really, really affected us, like a lot of small business owners. But we tr- we're trying very hard to keep it uh, keep it going. And now I'm a senior yoga teacher and I deliver my yoga teacher training to other mm, people to become teachers. And I love that. I think something in me, I just love teaching. I love ballroom dancing, but, uh, my passion to teach children. But also, I love that yoga did so much for me, for my mental health and also for my physical health that kept yeah. me away from all the injuries you know and strictly anything in general and dancing yeah. so more courses more teacher training yeah. and yeah that's obviously my and studios. how do we get more boys involved do you know what maybe let's have a shout out to those your parents. daughter's looking for a partner I know, is she? she's seven so, so any boys seven, so any boys out there between seven eight nine ten years old please let me know because yeah we yeah, she would love to and do is that in the northampton area northampton yeah okay Midlands. oh look you know we've got you here for a reason christina <laughs> not just talk about your dancing and all the wonderful work you're doing for children we have a little bit of fun on this program each week where we're pulling a point. Yeah. We've got Chris is going to come back in. Chris, come on in, my friend. Come on, Chris. It's a simple, it's a simple gig. All you've got to do is pull the pump back, fill your glass, put it on the bar, and uh-huh. then Chris will mark you out of 10, then you can mark Chris out of 10. Let's have a bit of fun. You've got 30 seconds to pull oh the point. Oh my God, I've never done that. Let's do it, let's go for it. No. Ready? It's quite yeah. easy, it's quite Ready. easy. Here, go. Steady. <laughs> oh, oh, yours are going really fast. Look yes. at mine. It's really bad. And the <gasps> idea is not to well, get much froth anyway. in there. Like, oh, 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 Chris is doing oh, a heart attack. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, put it on the bar. Here we go. It's so much mess. I'm sorry. Well, it looks, wow. uh, it's all right if you want to <laughs> shave, <laughs> isn't it? That? It's, it's, uh, it's not very good. So, how do you find that, Chris? <laughs> um, not too bad, actually. Yeah, it's not, not too bad. bad. You're like a professional, you, you know. Look at me. It's three like quarters everywhere. of a pint in there. <laughs> yeah. Christina, what's that? I, I have no clue what this is, and it's all spilled over. It's um, absolutely I mean, what a mess. Have you ever poured a pint before? No, never. No. Never, 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 never. <laughs> Well, look, guys, I mean, that's been absolutely brilliant. Uh, Thanks, I'm glad you had a bit of fun, but, uh, you know, know, you've got to mark each other out of ten um, on this. So. Ten for me. Ten? Oh, to thank you. you. Um, thank you. I would give a, I'd, a two for myself for that. I'd, I'd give you a five. A You're five. very kind, Chris. It's a bit thank odd, isn't it? It's a bit odd, <laughs> that, Chris, isn't it? So, look, that's great. Yeah. That's on the pool. <laughs> Christina and Chris, thanks, guys. Great to meet you, Chris. Good to meet you, Lovely too. To meet you, Christina. Nice to meet you. Thank, thank you. you for having me.